My name is Richard Parlone. I'm the head of radiological protection at Sizewell will be. Uh, and I work in the radiation protection teams. We look at the radiation safety of people on site and people off site, especially when we're managing things like the fuel. Well, this is a dry storage location, so it's our dry store building. Uh, fuel comes out of our reactor when it's no longer needed, goes to our fuel pond stored underwater for a certain number of years, and then we load it into the casks and bring it to the dry store where it's then stored, as you can see in the casks alongside me here. So the casks are very heavily shielded. Uh, water in our fuel ponds is a good shielding medium. Uh, here there are 220 tonne casks with concrete, lead and steel. Uh, I've got a little radiation instrument with me here and I'm standing close to the casks and it's effectively reading the background it would in Suffolk. So very heavily shielded indeed. So we've got the outer shell is a steel uh, shell, painted white. There's an inner steel shell and between the two we actually get locally produced concrete, very high density concrete, and pour it between the shells. And that makes a nice shielding uh, sort of wall if you like. Inside the, uh, the cask is a, a stainless steel canister that's welded shut and filled with helium and has our fuel inside. And then that basically sits inside the cask where air can be drawn across the outside uh, and, and cool it down. Well, this uh, dry store, we are making a safety case. We have made a safety case to store it for 100 years if we need to, as long as we need to until the fuel can be taken out and then either sent for final disposal or possibly even reprocessed. Well, each canister will hold enough energy to power 1.3 million homes for a year. Yes, it's a very low uh, um, carbon energy source. Each canister would save about 1.4 million tonnes of carbon dioxide. Well, size will be powers about 3 to 4% of the entire United Kingdom with electricity. Low carbon source, 24 7. Um, and then we change, we do about seven canisters every three years, uh, and that would be enough to power the UK effectively. So, seven of these canisters is three years' worth of electricity, about 4% of the UK's energy needs. So, and this store is sized to last for 60 years' worth of operation for size will be. I think, I mean, I've, I've been in the industry over 30 years and we've, uh, from a, you know, a perspective, you can see the canisters here, we have it stored safely, we have all the arrangements to store it safely and we've uh, reassured the government and all of our regulators that it's the right thing to do. Um, we're a responsible company uh, and we are committed to dealing with spent fuel and the waste we produce in, a, in an ethical and moral way. Our independent regulator, the Office for Nuclear Regulation, and we're also regulated by the Environment Agency and our security regulator as well. Uh, we are very heavily regulated. We must meet their requirements to operate safely. Well, I was involved in the original community engagement for the size will be dry store. We had the local exhibitions uh, in Leyston and the surrounding towns and villages. We had very good community engagement. We've been able to bring people into the store, and that's the thing as we're doing here at the moment. I'm standing what. 10, 15 metres away and we had people come round um, and uh, I think once people actually see how fuel is managed uh, they become a lot more reassured uh, because it's always the unknown isn't it that people are afraid of. So, and I think they like the idea that we're responsibly handling it on our own site. This building is right next to size will be. It's uh, one building for 60 years worth of power generation for the UK uh, and uh, it's being managed by a responsible company, responsible people.